The facts matter. Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is July 24th, 2020, and I am just going to be talking to you for a little bit. I want to tell you guys some things that actually go on behind the scenes for the watchdogs. As you guys know, no good deed ever goes unpunished, and that is especially true of the watchdog channels. A lot of times behind the scenes, you guys don't get to see the type of threats and ugliness that are sent to us. Specifically by those people that have a tendency to want to believe in the Sovsit ideology. And although nothing ever works out for them, which is probably why they're in such a crappy mood all the time, they really, really work hard at trying to get rid of anyone who speaks out against the movement. For those of you that don't know, the Sovsit movement started with a very, very ugly racist start. It started in white supremacy, and that's one of the reasons why it's so incredibly ugly. When you see the Moors, uh, the so-called Moors, we'll call them, follow that ideology. The sad part is that over time, I've recognized that a lot of the Moors don't even recognize where this ideology that they are following came from. It came from a very ugly start, and it makes me really, really upset to see them have their followers following this and not even knowing where it came from. Taj Tariq is one that is brilliant at making everyone believe that he is someone who came up with all of these different methods to try to remedy your situation and become private versus public and all of these different things. But the truth is this started over 40 years ago and the redemption movement, which happens to be where the scams come in, you know, the scams like April Lejeune run and what Harvey Dent was running for a while and many, many others. Mark Christopher. I mean, they're just, there are so many. Right to travel was a big one for Taj Tariq and getting out of uh, trouble by claiming that you cannot be detained by law enforcement is another one. One of the reasons why these people really, really dislike channels like mine and Scam Stingers and Vilified Freedom and DGen and Chuck and all the, uh, oh, well, let's not forget Van. Van is one of the all-time hated. It's because we're showing their failures. We are mirroring for them all of the times that they have failed with what they think is going to work. When that happens, and it's so blatantly put out there so that the public can ridicule and laugh at it, they tend to try to find the creators, or those that are exposing those videos, at least, and attack. What you're looking at on your screen right now is a comment that someone ugly enough at heart would put up on the video that I made called Vilified Freedom and a Place to Put a Christmas Tree. As you guys know, I am a big believer in charity. I am someone who you can always come to in the event that you're having a hard time. Vilified Freedom has a friend who has six children and a wife that he's taking care of. He was very good to Vilified Freedom in the past, As a matter of fact, he gave him a job and also gave him a way to make money later on. A career, so to speak. He taught him how to be an electrician. The sad part about this entire situation is that that is the video that this jackass decided to put his comment on. And the reason for it is because Vilified Freedom is another watchdog. Vilified Freedom is not someone who asks for things. He doesn't actively have a GoFundMe for himself up. He does not request Super Chats, and he's not one who e-begs in any way, shape, or form. 
So it's impossible to be a scam artist when you're not requesting anything. Many people love Vilified Freedom's channel, and he has very good Sobsit content. Very good. He also has very good Frauditor's content. But Vilified Freedom is extremely religious, and to some people that's something that they don't particularly care for. But other than that, he's a great, great channel to look at for Sobsit stuff. Now, as I said in my previous video, Vilified Freedom and I may not see eye to eye when it comes to religion. We're from two totally different backgrounds, but I respect his freedom of religion and how he wants to run his channel as he respects mine. Of course, that means that anybody who's a viewer and a subscriber is open to determine whether or not his content is for them. And some people have said no, and a lot of people absolutely adore him. But it doesn't matter one way or the other in terms of his content. Vilified Freedom has a big heart, and I can attest to that. Vilified Freedom is not a scam artist, and neither is Chuck. Neither am I or anybody else in the Watchdog group, because they'd be rapidly removed, believe me. Let's take a look at what 3576 Allen has to say, because after all, the one thing that's very important to these extremely irrelevant and ignorant individuals is that they are heard. And you'll notice that from this particular uh, post, where he states in this very lovely video that Vilified Freedom did just to help a family with a very small amount in order to get back on their feet. Vilified Freedom, you say? I've seen his videos. I don't understand his motivations or the logical sense of his creations. Oh, I think you understand them very well, Alan. I think you understand that people like you are being exposed, and you don't like that. But I digress. I've tried leaving comments that weren't insulting, but ask genuine questions. They get taken down. In fact, the entire comment section of every video is filled with nothing but praise to the point where it isn't natural. Every video VF mails, I believe he means makes, comes across as a form of low-level Jerry Springer type propaganda, which is really hilarious because you know what? The entire reason why it looks like Jerry Springer type propaganda is because it's the type of people that are in the Sobsit movement. And let's face it, y'all are dramatic as hell, okay? And he most certainly doesn't believe in the free exchange of ideas, especially dissenting opinions. Now, I know for a fact that Vilified Freedom is not someone who likes to take comments down unless they're overly abusive. So this is absolute bull to me. But many of you might not be aware of it. Vilified Freedom is doing the same thing here. Listen to this, guys. He eats food to give an organic feel to the video. He then proceeds to talk about a subject with hearsay evidence and conjuncture. Conjecture, rather. He makes a claim with no concrete evidence. I'll check out this thing he wants me to donate to, but I'm betting it's a scam. You know what, Alan? Don't donate to anything. We don't want you. We don't want you on our channels, and we don't want you in our neighborhoods. We don't want your money. And we don't want your sympathy, or your empathy for that matter. It's people like you that we're exposing, and I have proof of the kind of people you are. Let's get to that. Oh, wait. I want to finish this, you guys. I never agreed with you, but I always thought you were trying to do the right thing. Now I question who you really are, Virgo. At least you'll leave comments up that disagree with your stance. Oh, I'm not only going to leave this comment up, Alan. I'm going to make sure that thousands of people see it 
and that should give you a little bit of narcissistic supply for today anyway. All right, guys, all kidding aside, this is a sob sit, and this is the kind of attack they go on. Now, one of the reasons why this is so incredibly important is because they get very serious when you ignore them. Chuck chases the facts, as most of you know who that is, and if you don't, there will be a link in the description so you can view his YouTube channel. Chuck just recently went through something that made me very upset because I really couldn't understand why it was that somebody would actually attempt to call him out and claim that he was doing bad things to young children. Well... I can tell from the writing in this post that this is the same individual. I'm not going to go off naming names this time because I originally thought that it was somebody that I no longer think that it actually is. I believe I actually know who this party is, but I want to complete my investigation before I say anything more because originally I actually thought this was Harvey Dent. Now, I actually think that it's someone else. But before I go off shooting off my mouth again, I'm going to do some extra research. But just the little bit of research that I've already done will give us kind of a good idea of what we're looking at in terms of what this person really believes. This is 3576 Allen's channel. And on first glance, there's really not much here. But for those of you that have asked me in the past, how do I start researching people who leave threatening comments or nasty comments, this is how I go about doing it. I take a look at their channel first. Now, nine times out of ten, they're going to be a sock puppet channel, just like this one is. But there's usually some form of hidden truth somewhere within that sock puppet account. I go through the subscriptions and I see that there are um, supposedly no subscriptions that would make any sense uh, as to who this person is. But see, one of the things that we're actually notified of when you own a channel is if that person is subscribed to you or not. Alan is subscribed to me and has been for the last seven months, about around the time when Scam Stinger's account and my account was doubled as a fake account and placed on YouTube, running very, very ugly content about our channels. Well, Virgo Triad happens to be copyright, or not copyrighted, trademarked, so as a result of that, his channel that he made that was fake got taken down. Not once, but twice. Scam Stingers is in the process of trademarking theirs, and it will take care of the other three that he's got up that are fake. Or that party, anyway. Like I said, I don't have enough proof to actually uh, point the finger at this person yet. I'm just taking a stab at it. That's around the same time, though. About seven months ago. But you'll notice... No subscription to me, even though I can clearly see from his comment publicly subscribed to you for seven months. Huh, that's weird. Not there. Okay, so I'm going to keep looking because that whole thing is just really strange, right? But then it shows up in the playlist. As you can see here, he's got an entire playlist of 21 videos from High Frequency Radio. Well, that happens to be the more Yusuf L. Bay. And it's secured party videos specifically that he's looking for. Then you go over here and it says do it yourself. No social security number bank account. No social security. Uh, no social security. No taxes. 12 videos. See, there's always a telltale sign when you're dealing with a soft sit. And unfortunately, what happens is that means it discredits their comment entirely. There's another process that I take. 
One of the things that Google does with its own platforms is it keeps track of your usernames. So if you have a comment, you want to find out what other comments they've left, it's very simple. You type it into Google, like this, 3576 Allen space YouTube. And as you can see, it starts to pull up different things that they have made comments on different videos. So here we go. Here's one to pinch to zoom gesture to remove black bars. 3576 Allen, one year ago. Comment was edited, and then there's the comment. It was this particular video was uploaded by someone named Android Explained. It doesn't take long, but when I get here, Look what we've got. Create your own common law ID. Hi. Oh, my name's... Oh, look, another con artist. This is uploaded by somebody by the name of Corey E.I.B., which I'll take a look at whether they've got current stuff up or, enough, or not, now that I know that they're there. Clearly, a scam artist. Oh, and pushing Agenda 31 on top of everything else. I go down here to take a look and see if I can find the comment that's been made by Alan. Let's see. I know you're in here. Ah, there's one. So he says, at 210, dude, you have all rights. Now, keep in mind that this video, once again, was all about creating your own common law ID backed by the full faith and credit of the United States. Total bullshit, but right up a sob sits alley. And he's even correcting the bullshit guru here. All right, I'm not going to take you any further with this because you don't really need to have to sit and listen to any more. But the truth is, 3576 Allen, I believe, is someone who's doing some pretty decent uh, trolling of the watchdogs, since he decided to choose somebody that's not myself, and uh, somebody has already used his basic form of writing and his attempt, a bad one, mind you, at psychology, or reverse psychology, um, you know, I really honestly think that we're dealing with the same individual that's got multitudes of sock puppet accounts that attacked Chuck also. Chuck's is a little bit more serious. This person actually infiltrated his Facebook page and started sending out messages to people. Well, I'm going to keep doing my research, but while I do that, I want to make sure that you guys know that there are a ton of soft sits out there. It's not 50,000. There's lots and lots of them. And they really don't like being exposed. And they really, really hate somebody putting the facts out there that debunks all of their claims. So, if you run across a comment that is ugly like this, and it's all written in a very but I'm just asking questions, way. Yet you can see the insults written between the lines. On Vilified Freedom's channel, Chuck's channel, Degeneration Nation's channel, Goober's channel, my channel, Artie's channel, Corporate Fiction's channel, any of the ones that you know are watchdog channels, you're going to know that this is what you look for. You're going to know that this is the style of writing and this is an attempt to try to, I guess, flow the viewership somewhere else. The truth is, 3576 Allen is a loser. He's completely ignorant of the laws, whether that be by choice or just because he's completely ignorant. I really don't care which, because if you believe in the soft sit movement, with all of the factual evidence that's out there, not one single case that's ever been won, and numerous channels that are exposing how silly you look. You're just completely irrelevant, 
And you clearly can't get it through your head what it is that's really true. If you're willing to drop your integrity at the door and claim that someone who's simply showing a video of someone else doing something wrong is all of a sudden a scam artist, then I don't know what to tell you, buddy. You're sad. And I'll promise you this too, Alan. You'll never stop the watchdogs. It doesn't matter what you say or do. You'll never stop this movement. Because we're going to make sure everybody knows just what kind of con artists and scumbags you sob sits are. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed me showing them how I go about starting to research somebody who's a nasty little troll. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the video that Vilified Freedom did. I hope that you'll take the time to consider donating to the family. They're not looking for a huge sum of money. They're just looking to get a step up. And quite frankly, anybody who's willing to try to stop something like that is not somebody that I want on my channel at all. So, Alan, I've unsubscribed you. Everybody have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.